community that cares for veterans in hospitals and clinics in every state. The VA says more than 48,000 veterans who served in Iraq and Afghanistan have received a preliminary diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder. But as Kimberly Dozier reports, critics say many troubled vets are not getting the help they need. Army Specialist Sean Saunders was proud of his first two tours in Iraq. But midway through his third tour, he snapped. If I hear loud noises, I get, I'm real, real jumpy. I get paranoid. Distraught, lost, confused. His parents say his breaking point was watching his best friend die while guarding a checkpoint. He kept saying, it should have been me, it should have been me. Texas medic Taylor Burke took Sean's turn, and the car blew up. When he passed, it's like a part of me that's left me, and I haven't been the same since. During home leave from Iraq, Sean talked of suicide. At Fort Hood, his home base, he asked for help. Instead of treatment, he says he got bureaucracy. I was basically just trying to find out what was wrong with me, because I was thinking about hurting myself, thinking about hurting other people. His dad took action, flying him to a New York veterans hospital. Doctors diagnosed post-traumatic stress disorder. The Army disagreed. Military police arrested him at the hospital. It's a military-wide problem where symptoms of PTSD, from substance abuse to rage to suicidal depression, are misdiagnosed or blamed on the troops themselves. These critics point to a 40% spike, 22,500 troops who've been expelled since 2003 for personality disorder. The military claims these are psychological problems the troops had before joining that surfaced from combat. Another 5,500 were expelled for misconduct like drug abuse, up 20%. It's an expedient way to replace an ailing soldier quickly. Discharging for a personality disorder takes days and costs the military nothing. A PTSD discharge can take up to nine months and treatment can last a lifetime. In severe cases, costing up to $2 million each. This soldier's records, obtained by CBS News, show the man was first diagnosed with PTSD. But his commander said he did not see anything really bad and ordered the diagnosis changed to personality disorder. The soldier was immediately discharged with no medical benefits. Sean Saunders is now fighting to get his PTSD recognized. Got a lot of stuff to go through yet to get back to normal life, huh? Let's try. Kimberly Dozier, CBS News, Washington. And another